Hi, it's Paul again from Ebon Sky Studios, and this is video 8, uh, which shows how Sable can be used to create an RPG audio game. This is actually part 2 of the video, uh, which is demonstrating how we're going to turn all the uh, everything we've created in the demo series so far into more of a game, add more of a game feel to it. So we left off the last time just outside the cave and this is where I am again so let's go through to the cave and continue this. Cave door. Warning. This will close the... Yes. Okay, that just warned us in case we hadn't saved the map that we could lose changes if we didn't save, but I've already saved, so that's fine. Now, you may remember in the caves, it's basically one long corridor which heads uh, north to south with walls either side, and then it opens up into a room at, at the bottom. Now, what I want to do is that room at the bottom, I'm going to turn into where we're going to fight the, uh, have the boss battle where we'll face the dragon we created. So, firstly, just going to add a little bit more atmosphere to the caves. So let's say we want to pick up some terrain tiles. And terrain menu to sand shallow water let's add a couple of little sort of water pools of water on the floor just to kind of add that more kind of no key. known abilities or mad oh, wrong key there and key there it just adds a little bit more sort of uh, feel to the uh, thing we could maybe add some panning sounds we're going to sounds say. dog bark uh, drip dripping water which is quite appropriate since we've just added some things it sounds quite cave like as well um, but anyway, that, that's just kind of adding a little bit more, just showing you how you can add a little bit more feeling maybe to your maps. But anyway, let's get the uh, the next bit of this done. So what I want to do is there's a corridor. You just had the wind to the right. I want to go down that corridor, and I'm going to create a uh, person. And this person is going to set us a quest, which will be to go and defeat the dragon, basically. So uh, let's um, bring up the object creator. Objects. Person. Now, you've seen the NPC creation before, so I'm going to go through this quite quickly just so we can get it done. So let's uh, select this. Lead enter person's name edit. T -A -D -D -E uh, we're going to call Thaddeus, which is one of the other Evan Sky uh, Studios team members. Thaddeus, enter. Please enter person's description. This will be announced Would you like to use attend. a pre recorded voice? Yes. Select sound set. Mail. Does this person set the player a task? Yes. We give the quest a name edit. Type okay, so we now need to give the quest a name. Let's just call it uh, Dark Dragon. Quite simple. Dragon, enter if you would like the quest to have a description. Okay, we could add a description, but we won't worry about that, so let's just pass on that. Escape, please give the key to this task completion key a name edit. Thaddeus completion key. Type okay, text. now whenever you create a, a task or a quest, you have to create a completion key. Now, this doesn't have to be a physical item. It can be something physical that the player needs to return, but it's just a way of Sable tracking when to what tasks are outstanding, when they're complete, etc. So it's oh, defaulted the name to Thaddeus completion, completion Key, and that'll be fine for me. Enter. If you would like the key to have a description, please enter the description nope, here. Is this edit, a physical edit. item which the player will hold? So, again, like I was saying a minute ago, it can either be a physical item, so something the player has to go and get, or it can be what, or, or non physical, it means it's kind of invisible behind the scenes way of, like I say, Sable just tracking what when, when a task is complete or not. Yes. So I'm going to say no because no, I don't want this to be a physical item. Please select the speech that will be spoken okay. when the NPC is in Thaddeus line Thaddeus 1. Thaddeus has already given me his lines for this, so let me just input his lines. Please select the speech that will be spoken when the Thaddeus, Thaddeus, Thaddeus line 3. Please select the speech that will be uh. spoken when the NPC is interacted with once the task is complete. Thaddeus line 1. Thaddeus line 2. Okay, Thaddeus I've line 3. Messed that up Please episode, select sorry, the speech that, that will be fine. spoken if good news everyone. Okay, so let's place Thaddeus. Thaddeus. <clears throat> and now I actually gave Thaddeus the wrong lines there slightly. So I'm just going to go to the Please object select editor. which objective sound set. Uh, let's go speech. To speech. Please Thaddeus line 1. Thaddeus line 3. Uh, this should be Please Thaddeus select line Thaddeus two, Thaddeus, Thaddeus line 2. Please select which go. line of speech you wish that speech. Correct now. So right, now sound what set. we're going to do is we're now going to create the boss battle. So let's go back to that main corridor which runs north to south and find the room at the south. Okay, so there we are, we're in the room. We heard wind sound to the left and right, so it's indicated the corridor's opened up into the room. Now, you've seen me lay terrain tiles. Another type of tile you can lay is a wall tile, which actually uh, blocks off an area, because um, you can't walk through it. So I'm going to lay a wall tile here. Wall and collision sound, stone. And I'm going to place this just at the entrance to the room, so you actually won't be able to get in there. Stone. There we go, and that's done. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to place a door in front of it, so there will be a way of getting in by going through the door. So let's bring up the object tool, object creator. Objects. Door. Please enter door name edit. D R A D O N L A I R. 
Where? Enter. Please enter a description for the door edit. I would worry about description. Escape. Please edit. select map detected. which the door will lead to. Map 2. Please select door cursor sound. Please select sound that will play when the player goes through the door. Stairs. Stone underscore door underscore open. Would you like the door to appear on the player map? No. Does the door start in a lock state? No. Okay, so there we go. That's the door. Now we just need to place it. So let's place it here. Now find the new location for the exit and so place the, using the return key. That's the entrance to the door. We now need to place an exit. And the reason you need to place both an entrance and an exit is sometimes people might want to use the doors as portals which carry from one part of a map to another or take you from level to level. So because of that, you have to place entrances and exits. Stone. So let's place the uh, exit the other side of that stone barrier I put in. So this way, it's a way into the room. Would you like to set the exit different attributes to the entrance? No. No. Exit placed. Returning to previous location. That's what Return to originally placed door. It's taking us back to the entrance now. So what I want to do now is um, I want to... Dragon's Lair. I want to uh, place a trigger event on this door so when we go through it will trigger a battle and we can create that boss battle. So let's do that now. Please select if you wish for a cutscene or music change. Uh, no. None. Select event trigger. Okay, let's create battle. battle. Select music which will play during okay. the battle. So Aya's house. Because it's a boss battle, you could select different music to the standard battle music if you wanted, but I'm just going to leave it as the standard music. Would you like to set a background ambience uh, for the battle? I'm going to say no to that. Please select the enemy that will be encountered. Okay, let's find the dragon. Dragon. There it is. Is this enemy a special encounter? Selecting yes will remove the enemy from random enemy encounters on the map. Uh, let's say yes. Yes. We don't want people to just randomly encounter the dragon anywhere else. Would you like to add any further enemies to this battle? No. No. Is a key item given to the player after defeating this okay, enemy? so here's where we want to say yes. Yes. Um, now, although it won't actually be given to the player, we want uh, we want to assign the completion key to the dragon. So, therefore, once it's defeated, Sable will know this task is complete. Please select. So key to cave door. Thaddeus. Long back. Thaddeus completion key. Thaddeus completion Event trigger key. added. So that basically means it won't be something that will be physically picked up by the player, but just when the dragon's defeated, it, it will be a way of know Sable knowing that the task's com been completed, basically. So there we go, that's been... Uh, um, we've attached that trigger event to the door, so when the player goes through that door, it will trigger the boss battle. Now what I want to do is I want to add a trigger event to Thaddeus himself. So, Thaddeus. when we go back to Thaddeus after destroying and killing the dragon, um, Thaddeus will thank us, but it will also trigger the end of the game. So let's add a trigger event to Thaddeus. Select when you would like the trigger to fire. The first time you interact after setting the task. Once the player has returned and completed the task. That's when we want the trigger event to fire. Please select if you wish for a cutscene nope. or none. Select event trigger. Uh, we want end, end game. game. Select music which will play as the end credits to the game are spoken. Okay. What see. lies ahead? With a heavy heart. That'll do. Please enter any text you would like spoken, such as end credits as the music so plays edit. This is where text. you might want to add your credits. So let's just keep this simple. A L E G Y T A N S R O R E A Y I F G playing. Playing. Enter event trigger added. And that event trigger has been added. So once we've uh, killed the dragon and returned to Thaddeus, um, he will basically thank us, and that will then uh, roll the end credits. Um, so that's it for for this video. So. What we're going to do for the next video is we're actually going to do a playthrough of the everything we've created in the last few videos. So you'll get to, for the first time, see Sable working in play game mode. Uh, so you'll get to see us set up the, the, the characters to start with. Um, you'll get to see the cutscene or the intro fire. You'll get to see some of the other cutscenes fire, how the quest is set. You'll see the boss battle and the abilities we've added to the uh, boss. And you'll see how the game starts and ends as well. So uh, I've really enjoyed making this video. And I hope you've enjoyed watching it. As ever, if you want to stay up to date on news and updates, do check out our social media pages. And if you want to keep up to date on uh, YouTube videos, uh, uh, then feel free to subscribe to the, uh, the, the YouTube channel to be updated when we uh, add videos. Um, but like I say, that's it for today's video. I'm actually really looking forward to playing through uh, everything we've created in the next video. I hope you guys are look looking forward to it too. But again, many thanks for watching.